welcome to Guildford TV. I'm Rosanna and this week we're at the second of the farmers markets this month. Luckily the rain isn't putting anyone off so let's go and see what's happening and what's coming up in the new year. I have crept under cover here to get a little bit of shelter from the rain. I'm here with Gemma from the Isle of Wight Tomatoes. Hi Gemma. Hi, how are you? Now, I've got to start by saying tomatoes are one of my favourite things in the world. Um, they look lovely. Can I try one? Yeah, absolutely. Take one of the cherries. They're really, really sweet at the moment. So these are all grown on the Isle of Wight they and are. you come yep. here every market or? Yeah. So it's normally at the beginning of the month, but this is an extra Christmas market that's running at the moment. So yeah, just a little extra top up before Christmas for anyone that wants some gifts or some tomatoes well, like, themselves. They're quite a nice kind of um, stocking fillers. And yeah, so the range is mainly for that sort of thing. And then you've got the fresh tomatoes, which people generally take away and make some really nice dishes with. So And ketchup. Yeah. Ketchup, yeah, oh. organic and a conventional ketchup. Um, probably one of our star product is the oak roasted tomatoes. They're really, really amazing. So they're um, roasted in an oven really slowly and then they are smoked over oak chipping. And they're really, really good. Oh, lovely. So I've got well, lots of those in here today. <laughs> Thank you very much for letting us stop off and I have to pop back on my way back home. You're welcome. Nice <laughs> to meet good. you. And you. Chocolate with Joe, the chocolate maker. Hi, Joe. Hi, Rosanna. Nice to meet you. Absolutely lovely to meet you. Can I just say I love your job title, the <laughs> chocolate maker. <laughs> Thank you. That's amazing. Now, um, tell yeah, me a bit more about this chocolates. amazing chocolate. Yeah, well, so that's very kind of you. Uh, well, first of all, I think the most important thing is for you to try some. Oh, go on. You see, I'm quite, I'm quite, uh, I've been quite jealous of Stephen and Emma the last few weeks. They've all tried it. I have got to try some. So thank you. This one is one of our top-selling uh, truffles. It's the Tonkabean truffle. And we have a great taste award on this, which we're wow. very proud of. It's um, the one that I think people will always really remember us for. It's meant to be emotionally uplifting and balancing. Heaps of cocoa. I do feel happier now. <laughs> now that's really good. I, I'll be honest, I'm actually a cheese girl. You only know ah. the cheese or chocolate. That is seriously good. I'm really glad you like it. Thank you. Wow. And so obviously, other than the, the, the great, uh, you can do gifts for Christmas. Yes. Well, what else have you got coming up next year? Or? Well, it's really exciting next year. Most people, I think, think that after Christmas they can just relax, but in fact it's completely different from us. The moment we get to January, we're already looking towards Valentine's Day, or what I also like to call Love Yourself Day. There must, be so, many people. There must be so many people who wish they were given something nice, particularly if they see chocolate, and then suddenly they have a good excuse to buy something for themselves. Absolutely. <laughs> and then we go from that, then on to uh, Mother's Day, the Easter preparations, uh, and then in fact we go towards the summer, and we just have a really enjoyable time because the weather is better and we're out on the farmer's markets all the time. So there's, there's constantly an excuse to keep buying this Yes, stuff. I'm afraid so. Uh, well, listen, thank you so much for chatting to me. And thank you. Yeah, I might make one more. No, so do. I'm please have another. Thank you so much. Take care. Nice to have met you. You too. Happy New Year. <laughs> The wonderful thing about this market is that you'll get to know so many people here. There's a real energy on Guildford High Street, as there is in the whole town, but the farmers market is a really special day of the month on the high street. Talking of meeting people while you're here, Stephen has just bumped into someone we met a few months ago. Stephen, it's over to you. Thanks Rosanna, I'm here at the Star Inn, which is the home of uh, the Guildford Fringe Adult Panto, and I'm here with Stuart Vincent, otherwise known as Aladdin. How are you? I'm good, it's thank really you very good much. to meet you. Good to meet you too. You're in the middle of the, the play now, you're yeah. in full flow, how's mm -hmm. it going? Very, very well. We've um, we've sold out up until uh, Christmas, so and the, the audience has been absolutely amazing. The I was going to say in there because the, the back room's actually behind us over there. Yeah. Um, I imagine it, the place is filled with laughter all the time, all the time. Is There's it? just so many, so many uh, jokes, and especially from the cast, they, we just they interact with the audience and uh, the adults. They're just absolutely. Are there going to be lots? Are there lots of sort of bloopers, equivalent of the TV blooper. Really? 
Yeah. <laughs> we should uh, we should have got a camera in there for some outtakes. And well, this is it. Um, we have we have uh, filmed one of the nights, so I'm, I'm so I'm supposed so there will be some available. <laughs> yeah, there Nick Wishner available. Productions. But uh, <laughs> so how's it looking uh, from now? So from now up until Christmas, pretty much sold out. Pretty much sold out. That's wow. it. I mean, some of my family wanted to come down, and they were like, they wanted to come before. So I was like, yeah, yeah no, you go book no your tickets. tickets, and then yeah, no, and then I just oh. kind of went, oh, you, yeah, Oops. you gotta come after Christmas. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, again, because it's, it's running all the way up to. I know because he extended it this year. Didn't yeah, yeah, we're going um, up until uh, the 31st, so New Year's Eve. Excellent. Yeah, which is going really well. So tickets are uh, available for that? Yeah, so from I think the 28th until the 31st, we're looking there's for There's a couple. Yeah, there's still, uh, still tickets available. So a good trade if you want to get a group of friends together. Yeah, and... definitely, especially for um, New Year's Eve. I mean, I think that was one of the things uh, because, you know, it's New Year's Eve, but to be honest, there's no better way, you know. Yeah. Come down, Why have not? a drink, have, have a laugh, laugh have a drink, and, then and then celebrate the New Year's. Yeah, yeah. Why not? And the New Year in Guildford is fun. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, uh, Aladdin Rub My Lamp. Yep. And Rub uh, my lamp. that's uh, guildfordfringe.com, uh, isn't it? Yes, guildfordfringe.com. You can and, go on there. And that's where the tickets are. Are tickets available from the tourist office as well, do you know? I think they are. I think so. Yeah, they're generally there at the tourist office. I think office, if you talk but, to uh, Nick, the producer, there, yeah, yeah. Be. If you uh, Google uh, Aladdin Rub My Lamp, Guildford Fringe. So, as uh, Rosanna was saying in the thing, we, you never know who you're going to bump into in Guildford. And look who's here. It's Stuart Craggs from Mr. Prince Guildford. How are you? I'm all right, mate. You? I'm well, I'm well. We're just finishing up today, so you timed it well. Yeah. Um, what you gonna, you've got all these little books in your hand. Well, it's the end of the year roundup for us, and it's the uh, little book of offers, which is uh, 50 or 60 really unique Christmas offers over the Christmas period from the pubs, clubs, bars, and shops Wonderful. of Guildford. Wonderful. Picks them up from the Tourist Information Centre. Okay, yeah. excellent stuff. So, what's happening uh, New Year with you guys? New Year is the quiet time, but what we'd like to do is we like to look push out all the New Year's offers, all the sales, yeah, general sales, yeah, yeah. come into Guildford and spend your money please. Yes, so. Well, well, everyone does, don't they? I mean, it, so it was really busy on the market today. It was nice. So, uh, yeah, especially but, um, because Chris me. came on earlier and was talking about G Live, is that coming back? G Live? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Yes. So, so it's all action in Guildford. It is. You're going to be a busy man. We will be. I will um, be doing, what have I got? I've got a Best Bar None coming up in yep. January. Okay. Right. So hopefully the beach in the year. And everyone can get uh, um, details from experienceguildford.com. Come, come to our website and find out more offers. So when the Christmas offer's finished, yep. our generic offer for the year. And these year. are running till yeah. the end of the year? Yeah, they are. Right, don't, forget, don't forget the privilege card though in the new year. Oh yeah, okay, right. privilege so, card and uh, there's lots going on. There is. Anyway, um, Stuart's going to have a chat with, uh, that's Stuart uh, from Aladdin, Stuart Vincent, he's going to have a chat with Eleanor Ramona and we're, they're in the pub behind us. Thank you, Stephen. So now I'm here with uh, singer-songwriter Elena Ramona. Elena, it's been a while. How you been? I'm good, thank you. How are you? How, how's good, it going? Thank you. Very well, very well. Good. thank you. So I hear that you've got a new song out, a Christmas song. Yes, yes. Um, it's called Christmas Together, mm. and it came out on the 11th of December. Wow. It's, it's, doing, it's doing quite well, actually, which is cool. Um, surprisingly, yeah, it's got quite good, some good, quite good feedback. Okay. And, yeah, so all the proceedings are going to Save the Children, the charity. Brilliant. Which is, yeah, I've, I've not ever done something like that before, but I thought, you know, why not? You know, Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Some, you know, I've, when I was a child, I had such a fun Christmas, and it yeah. was always, you know, something to look forward to. And some people, you know, they, it's a bit of a struggle. So I thought, you know, why not? Why not give something to some? Well, it's amazing thing that you're doing. Yeah, it's, you know, even if, you know, if one person can, can be happy on that day, you know, I've, I've done, That's I've done amazing. a good job. <laughs> so what's um so. With this song, what makes it so different to every other song that's been out there? So, because you got Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas, etc., etc. Well, this song is there's a message behind it. It's a bit more, it's a bit more deep, let's say. It's a bit more. It's there's there's a line in it that says, "Don't take what you have for granted." Okay. So it's, it's basically going, you know, back down to basic sort of, you know, saying it's Christmas. Let's all just have Christmas together. It's it's not materialistic. Let's not stress about it. Let's just yeah. enjoy the day, have a good day, and. Listen to some and is music. there a uh, website that we can uh, download the music or listen to it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's uh, Eleanor Ramona um, on Twitter. Okay. And Bandcamp as well. The, it's on Bandcamp for sale. That's where the, you know that's where people can buy the uh, the track if they want it. Yeah. So on my Facebook as well, there's updates on bits um, as well. So Amazing. if people want to check that out, it's Eleanor Ramona. E L E N A. Ramona, and okay. it's all on there. Okay. All proceeds go to charity. So please. Listen to the music. Thank you. Back to you at the bar, Stephen. Um, I'm here with George, who's the manager of the pub. How are you? It's good to see you again. Doing good, yeah. Are you busy? 
absolutely I bet heaving. the panto's bringing them in. Yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. What's happening then for New Year? I know we've got the panto. Yes, yeah, so we've got the panto on for New Year's Eve, which is fantastic, because obviously not last year, the panto finished uh, before Christmas, yeah, so it's quite yeah, yeah. nice that we've got the kind of extra, that extra few week. Days, yeah, um, oh, it's a week, a whole it week. Well, ne nearly a week, yeah. Um, and obviously, New Year's Eve is such a kind of weird night of the night of the year that there's a lot of people who go, I don't really want to go out because yeah. the pubs are going to be charging more, and and some of them are a ticket entry, ticket aren't they? entry. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's but places not at the star. Not at the star. We are free entry. Um, yeah, come along, there's no dress code, there's no standing on ceremony. Just come and come buy in, some beer, watch the, watch the uh, panto, panto and have a laugh. And come and enjoy yourself, and yeah. celebrate the wonderful New Year. Exactly. How, um, how are things going for New Year? Any plans with Shepherd Neem and um, developments so, of... Well, we're hoping to get a little tiny bit of... I don't want to jinx it. Okay, you. <laughs> are you sure you're allowed to say it? I, I'm allowed to say it, but okay. I don't want to jinx it. But we, it's in the pipeline that we might get a little something. But a that's little a little something we might get. Is that a little lick of paint? Or? Possibly a little Ooh, lick of paint. Possibly sorry. just a little bit of a rearrange of furniture. So just a little kind of. But don't change up. the layout. No, if you've no, no. You've never no, been well, to the Star Inn. Uh, wonderful little nooks and crannies everywhere. It's a great place. Well, to Well, one of the things with us being Grade Two listed is we can't. You can't change. We're not allowed. Right. Yep. So okay. listed building come down very severely on. I must admit, whilst we've been talking, I've suddenly realised there is the uh, the doggy biscuits there. It's Hamish. Um, yeah, Hamish. And uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see the sign here, but uh, the Star Inn in Guildford, very dog friendly. So yeah, you can bring the dog. We dogs actively in, um, encourage people to bring their dogs. Wonderful. We love dogs in here. So do we. So do yeah. we at Guildford TV. Anyway, it was lovely to see you. Yeah, lovely and, to see um, you again. Probably. I'm gonna, I don't know. We, uh, Nick, are we coming along for the panto? Are we going to try that? I'm trying to. See if we can get some tickets yeah, for that. Yeah, I'm sure they uh, will sway you something. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I know one of the actors. I, I've, oh, met, I've met Aladdin. So well. I'm, I'm hoping I might. Well, Aladdin, maybe he could magic some up. Aladdin on. has got the connections. He's got them, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, anyway. Right, so now it is back to Rosanna. food stall. I'm here at Brown Bread and I've been being shown all the lovely product they have here. I'm just spending all my day eating today and while I'm here, if we pan over here, I get to meet the lovely Chris. Hi, just it's to meet Lovely you. to meet Hi. you. Now, I'm right in saying that you're the local economy manager. That's correct, yeah, that's right. Very important job. It is and it's very, very rewarding. Exciting. And, no, well, uh, uh, obviously it's always lovely coming down here during Christmas with the markets, loads yeah, has been yeah. happening. But tell us what's, what's going on the new year, what have we got to look sure, forward to? Sure, yeah. And... Well, one very exciting project we've got for next March, in fact, is an Arts and Science Festival. Oh, um, what we're doing at G Live on the 12th of March, we're bringing together all the sort of leading companies locally uh, to try and engage young people in the whole area around science and technology. Oh, I mean, Guildford is an amazing economy. I mean, it's, it's actually the most, probably the most successful economy outside London in the UK, believe it or not. In fact, we're the, actually the centre of the gaming industry outside the USA. So uh, we're going to bring some of those companies to, to the G Live. Uh, there'll be lots of sort of touchy feely sort of stuff, oh, and uh, it should there. be really good. Cool. We're also working with the Boiler Room uh, in Guildford to deliver some art stuff as well. So there'll be performances around sort of arts and science. So oh, it could be exciting, yeah. So loads going on creatively and in the kind of Absolutely. educational sector. Absolutely, yeah. We, you know, we sort of job that my team does. We go in and talk to key employers about their presence in Guildford. We talk to young and emerging companies. We run some free clinics at the council every month. So if yeah. you're a new business or you're, you're thinking about setting up a business you can come and talk to a couple of our specialist advisors for example so there's a lot of stuff that's going on to support business here brilliant so it's business and then actually also interesting for us yeah. everyday folk who actually will be very interesting to go and see it at Absol G Live yeah. or oh, Absolutely. Lovely. the other thing is you know we look after the tourism side as well and uh, you're probably aware just behind me is the tourist information center yes. it's the only one in Surrey uh, and we do a lot of work with all the local sort of attractions and the hotels and, and conferencing groups and that to so try and support their business. Uh, in fact, you know, tourism brings on like 350 million pounds to, to Guildford actually every year. So it's, you know, we, we're keen to get visitors in Very to enjoy, place. enjoy what's here. Listen, it's been a pleasure to meet you and hopefully Great. see you in early next yeah, year. Good luck, nice to see you. Yeah, thanks a lot. So we're back at Flashy Foods with the lovely Felicia. Hello. Hi. Now, I've just realised, look, meeting you again. I forgot to pick up my balls last time. <laughs> I'm gutted, so I'm definitely going to buy some today. Fantastic, because yeah. They look amazing. 
And um, now I'm just also noticing, obviously Christmas time, you're doing hampers. Yes, we've done a lot of Yum. recipe hampers. This is the the sort of all bells and whistles hamper with salt and pepper and all sorts of things. Oh, lovely. Recipe hamper, as we call it. And then we just have the general ones where we show people how to mix and match the different uh, products. Brilliant. Yeah. And listen, uh, am I right in saying the market's going to be back on in, in February? February, yes. And obviously you guys will be here again. That's right. We will definitely be here again. Guildford has welcomed us beautifully. Uh, so. <laughs> I'm not surprised with the yeah. food you serve. So Thank listen, you. Lovely to see you again. Lovely. Thank see you very much. You and a Merry Christmas. You too. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on Guildford TV this week and from all of us on the team joining us this year as we begin the process of delivering a positive online news and promotion option for you. We've had lots of fun with the people making things happen in this town and with you when we've met you and as we record our production. We're taking a break until the new year but we'll be back in the next month with a new website, a new look, new locations and chatting with more of the companies and the people in and around town. Have a great Christmas and New Year and hopefully lots of love and laughter with the ones that make life the special adventure that it is. Until the New Year, I'm Rosanna and this has been Guildford TV.